And we're taking a look at coralline algae here at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms. Uh, we begin by looking at some pieces of dry base rock that were produced here at the farm. This is man-made dry rock and it's made of aragonite sand with a little bit of uh, Portland cement mixed into a kind of a dry mix and then molded into these cool shapes, branchy shapes or arch like shapes and of course there's no life on it. Uh, this is good for starting a reef, uh, for composing a reef with dry sand and dry rock. And then we look at another piece of man-made rock here from Indo-Pacific Sea Farms and this is one that's been uh, in the tanks for a while, probably about a year. And if you look carefully you can see nice uh, patches of uh, uh, purple and red and pinkish, pinkish coralline algae. Also see some worm tubes growing there and this is an example of a nice uh, uh, ledge rock that could be used for putting together uh, part of uh, a reef inside a reef tank and the question is how do we get from here from the dry base rock with nothing alive on it to a nicely encrusted piece of rock again both are man-made no harm to the natural environment well the answer is we use coralline booster plates and I'm showing two examples here. These are uh, some plastic sheeting that's been aged in the tanks at Indo-Pacific Sea Farms for a long time. And there's a very nice coating of uh, pink, red, and purple coralline algae actually on both sides of these plates. Uh, they're about the size of a playing card, more or less. And actually, you really only need the uh, living coralline alga on one side. You get these home and put them into your reef tank, uh, tuck them in the back behind the rock work, make sure there's some good current there, and what will happen is that the spores from the living coralline algae will disperse and spread throughout the tank, uh, including the refugium if you have one. Uh, if you have a hang on the back filter, you can actually put the uh, coralline plates into the filter box you might think there's not enough light in there, but actually there is. And uh, the current actually rushes through that filter box, and it's a good way to quickly disperse spores of living coralline algae throughout your reef tank system. Coralline Algae Booster from Indo-Pacific Sea Farms.